In this video, we're going to cover the delete last dot button. So we want to go through and get the click event for our delete last button. And we're going to set that up. We want to think about that click button. What does it do? It deletes the last item in both the X values list and the Y values list. Okay, so whatever the last item is, it'll delete it. So if you have one, four, five in the X values, it'll chop off five and all that's left is one and four. Okay, so we want to remove something from that list. And if we think about that, it's got to be in the list block somewhere. So if we think we move it over here, just for space sake, the list blocks have all these blocks. We can replace, we can insert. Finally, we get to error remove. We can remove an item. All right. So remove the list item from what list? Well, we'll start with our X values. From our X values list, which item do we want to remove? So in our example, we had one, four, and five, I think. Um, let's say we had those values. We have three values. We want to remove the third one. Well, we have three values in our list. What gets us three values? The number of items in our list, or the size of our list, or the length of our list. We have a block for that. All right, so we go and grab that length of our list. What list? Well, our x values list, of course. So that goes and counts the things 3, which is also the last index, 1, 4, 5, 3 items, has indexes 1, 2, and 3. So delete the third item from x values. All right, we're good. Now we have two items left in our x values list, one and four. So if we did that for our x's, we have to do that for our y's. They're parallel lists, so for every x there is a y. So we simply duplicate that list, and now we're going to delete from our y values list. Right? So that's how we remove from our list. But that dot is still on the screen or on the canvas. So in order to remove it from the canvas, we have to go through all the steps that we did to remove the lines from the canvas, right? So when we remove the lines from the canvas, we had to clear it and then draw all the dots again. And then draw the lines. Nope, we didn't want to draw the lines then. Well, in this case, we might want to draw the lines, right? Because if there's already lines, we should draw them. Right? But we've not the we've gotten rid of the last x y value. Okay, so we could go through and we could repeat all of this code. Right, but that's a lot of blocks to repeat, so we don't really want to do that. So instead, we can take the code that we have and put it in something we call a procedure. We've been using procedures throughout this app. We've called clear, that's a procedure. We've called draw circle, and we've called draw line. Okay, all these purple blocks are procedures. We can also define our own procedures. So under procedures blocks, we see two options. A procedure that gives back a result, and a procedure that does just does something. In this case, we don't really have a result. We just do something. We draw a bunch of dots on a screen, okay? So we want to go through and say, OK, our procedure, we should rename it, draw all the dots. All right? So now what we see is an empty procedure. But if we go look in the procedures block, it generated another block for us, like magic. Right? But now we can call our own procedure. So when we call, use this call block, it'll go in here 
this procedure over here that has nothing in it right now and run all of those blocks. Okay, so we can call it here in delete last button. And what we want to do is draw the blocks or draw all the dots, sorry. And what draws all the dots? Well, the thing to draw all the dots is all that code from clear lines. So we just take all that code and stick it in our procedure. And that draws all the dots. But now we screwed up our clear line button. Now all it does is clear the canvas. So we can say, oh, well, we can use our procedure there too. Let's call draw all dots. So now our button is two blocks. We clear the canvas and then we draw all the dots. And when we say draw all the dots, it goes into our procedure and runs all of these blocks. Okay? And same goes for this delete last button. We remove the items, but then we call draw the dots because we need to put them back on the screen. Okay? But wait a second. We forgot to do a step, right? We forgot to clear the canvas, right? We just drew all the dots, but they're already there including the one we deleted. So we forgot to clear the canvas and then we draw all the dots. So once we draw all the dots, it goes into here and runs all of these blocks, right? This is great. We get to reuse our code over and over again and not have to have it in every single event. It makes our events very clean looking, right? The last step we have in delete last button, or last delete last dot button, right? So we deleted the dot, we drew all the dots that were left over, but if there were lines on the screen, we should draw those too, okay? So go through and draw all the lines. Well, all the lines code is over here in the connect button. So we can go through and duplicate that code again, or we can do what we just did and make a procedure. Okay, so we had a draw all dots procedure, and now we can make a draw all lines procedure, right? And we can take all of the code and stick it in a procedure, which leaves the connect button rather bare, right? So don't forget to call, draw all lines within the connect button. Okay, so we end up with a connect button with one block in it to draw all lines. It calls our procedure, which will go in here and run all the blocks, okay? But that also allows us to go over to our delete last button and call the procedure over here too. So that way we can run all the blocks for drawing all the lines. So we've just drawn all the dots and drawn all the lines, but we didn't have to write any more blocks. We just had to create a procedure so that we could run it whenever we wanted to call it. All right? And so that's the simplicity and the beauty of procedures. It allows us to reuse our code over and over again. And so this has been the delete last dot block. In the next video, we'll cover some debugging problems because we have a couple layers.